I've had a lot of viewers ask, how do you remove Amazon Kids and Amazon Music from your Fire TV stick? Because quite simply, they don't have any kids using the Fire TV stick and they don't listen to music. So this guide is going to show you exactly how you can remove both of those apps to hopefully free up a little bit of space and a little bit of processing power as well. If you're watching this video as a short, tap on the thumbnail in the bottom right hand corner right now to see the full video. If you're already watching the full video, hold tight. More details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So first of all, we're going to have a look at removing the Amazon Music app. This is nice and simple. You don't need to install anything to get rid of that. And all you do, press and hold the home button on the remote control till this appears. Let go, then go across to apps, middle button, then find the Amazon Music app in your list of icons there. Once you've found it, highlight it and then press the three horizontal line buttons just to the right of the home button on your remote. And then you should see these options come up on the right hand side of the screen. Go down to uninstall, highlight it, middle button, go down to the second uninstall, make sure it turns orange, middle button. And there you go. As simple as that, Amazon Music has now disappeared and been removed from your system. There you go. I told you that one was easy. So let's move on now to Amazon Kids. How do you get rid of that? That's not so simple, but I'm going to make this task as simple as possible for you. So so let's press the home button on the remote control to get us back to the main menu. Go across to the magnifying glass, down to search, middle button, and on the on-screen keyboard, start to type downloader. As you're typing it, it should suggest it in the suggestions underneath the on-screen keyboard. Once you see it, highlight it, middle button, and then make sure the orange and white downloader icon under apps and games is selected, middle button, and then middle button again when you see this screen to start downloading and installing it. Now this bit might take a bit of time. It really does depend on the speed of your internet connection and the speed of your Fire Stick device or Fire TV device. But once it's installed, you should see open or maybe even done. When you see that, then middle button on the remote control, let it open. And this is very important. You must allow Downloader to access photos, media and files on your device. If allow isn't highlighted here and you've got deny highlighted, then you will not be able to continue following this guide. It simply won't work. So make sure that allows highlighted, middle button and then middle button again to get rid of the quick start guide. Press the home button. That's the picture of the house on the remote control to make sure that you're back to the home screen and then go across all the way to the right to the settings cog. Once that's highlighted, then go down to My Fire TV, then press the middle button on the remote and then you're looking for developer options. Now, if like mine, you don't see it, then all you need to do is go into about and then find the name of your device and highlight it. Like mine, mine says Fire TV Stick 4K. Yours may say something different. Just press the middle button on the remote control until you see no need, you're already a developer come up at the bottom of the screen, then stop pushing the middle button. Then press the back button on the remote and there you should see developer options just below about. Go down to developer options, middle button, and then go down to apps from unknown sources. If it's set to off, like mine is, middle button on the remote control, middle button again, and then it goes to on. If you've got install unknown apps instead of apps from unknown sources, then all you need to do is highlight install unknown apps, middle button on the remote control, go down to downloader, and if it's switched off like mine, middle button, and that turns it on. So we want to go up to ADB debugging, and if that is switched off like mine is, with it highlighted, middle button, and that turns it on. Now let's keep pressing the back button on the remote until we go back to the main menu. So the next thing we need to do is we need to go into Downloader. So press and hold the home button on the remote until this screen appears, let go. Go across to Apps, middle button, and then we wanna go across to Downloader, highlight that middle button, and then we wanna press the up button once, then the middle button to get the on-screen keyboard up and type in there 212, 
zero three. That's two one two zero three. Then press the play pause button on the remote. And hopefully in about five seconds, my website should load. Just ignore anything that appears on the screen like this cookie notice. Don't worry, it will disappear. There we go. So let's just go down and keep going down. And we want to find this icon just near the bottom here. This one here, Debloater Tool Fire OS 6 and 7. So I should have said, sorry, at the start of this video, this is only for people running Fire OS 6 and 7. So if you're running a second or first gen Fire TV device, unfortunately, you're not going to be able to follow this part of the video. So get your little circle anywhere over the blue plaster there, middle button, and hopefully within a few seconds, that should start to download. Once you see this screen or a similar one, then just keep pressing the down part of the remote control on the circle till cancels highlighted, then press the right hand side of the circle so that installs highlighted, middle button, and that will now install. Once it's installed, then middle button again, and we don't need to keep this file. This file will just be taking up space on our stick. So we want to delete it. So just move across to the first delete there, middle button, and then move across to the second delete, middle button. Don't worry, the app's still installed on there. This was just the installation file that would be taking up unnecessary space. So keep pressing the left-hand side of the ring on the remote control until home's highlighted, middle button, back button twice. So the next thing we need to do is we need to go into that blue sticking plaster with a white background. So highlight that middle button. And then what we want to do is we just want to go down and keep going down until we find this entry just here, com.amazon.tahoe. So this is Amazon Kids. So let's just have a look. I'm just going to, I'm just going to go back and just show you that I have got Amazon Kids still installed on my Fire TV stick. So let's just go into that. And there we go, Amazon Kids is there. Amazon Music's disappeared, but Amazon Kids is just there. So I'm gonna go back into the Debloater tool. Let's just, and there we go. So what we do is we just highlight that middle button on the remote control so that there's a tick just to the right of it and double check you have actually ticked the right thing. If you've ticked the wrong thing, then press the highlight the tick and press the middle button on the remote control to remove it. So once you're sure that you've ticked the right part, then just go up to the top of the screen, the very, very top and keep going, keep going. There we go until the I symbol is highlighted. Then press the right hand side of the ring on the remote until the play button's highlighted. Then press the middle button. And you might get this allow USB debugging come up. If you do, make sure there's a tick just to the left of always allow from this computer. So press the middle button on the remote. That puts a tick in there. Then go down to OK, highlight that middle button. And there we go. That should have got rid of Amazon Kids. So I'm just going to go down and just see there should still be a tick in com.amazon.taho. So yes, let's just come out of this. And I'm just going to check in manage installed apps to see if it's still there. That's Amazon Kids. So let's just go into that. And no, Amazon Kids has gone. So there you go. That guide showed you how to remove Amazon Music and Amazon Kids on your Fire TV stick or your Fire TV Cube running Fire OS 6 or Fire OS 7. I hope you like this video. And if you did, then please have a look in the description of this video. If you're thinking of getting a VPN, a new Fire Stick or Fire Stick accessories, please consider subscribing to your VPN or buying your Fire Stick or accessories using the links down below as they really do help support this channel. They help me to dedicate more time to researching and bringing these videos to you. And I should have said, if you want to put Amazon Kids back, let's just do it again. Let's just press and hold the home button on the remote control until this appears and then go across to apps, middle button, and then find the blue sticking plaster there, middle button, and just make sure that you highlight com.amazon.tahoe, middle button, go up to the right to the top of the screen once more. And then once you've hit the eye there, go across to the arrow, 
middle button on the remote control. And again, if you get this allow USB debugging come up, just press the middle button to tick always allow from this computer. Go down to OK, middle button. And if we scroll down now, hopefully the Amazon Kids, there you go, the tick has gone from there. And if I come back out and go across to settings and then applications and then into manage installed applications, we should see there, there you go, Amazon Kids is back. And if you want to put Amazon Music back, then all you've got to do is go to the magnifying glass, go down, highlight search, middle button, and just type on your on-screen keyboard there, Amazon. And as you're typing it, hopefully, might take a little while, but as you're typing it, they go Amazon Music should appear in the list of suggestions below. Once you see it, highlight it, middle button, highlight the Amazon Music icon just there under apps and games, middle button, and then middle button again, to download and install it. That might take a bit of time, really depends on the speed of your Fire Stick and your internet connection once again. So there you go. Also, don't forget whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? Have a look through my YouTube channel. I've got thousands of other videos right here, right now for you covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you'll find something to educate you, entertain you, and maybe even amuse you. Thanks for watching.